Today, I am watching Melissa and Barnsley Reed. Here we go. Hi guys, Dane here, and welcome to a discussion, I guess. Now, in true me form, I haven't prepared any notes. I have, like, one or two things planned out that I want to say, and I'm just going to ramble at the camera, and we're going to see how it goes. So, today I want to talk about dislikes on BookTube, and, you know, whether do you leave them, and whether, how you feel, I guess, when people leave them on your videos. Because, on the one hand... I can kind of see how they can be an indicator of whether something is, you know, you know, whether it's reaching your audience in the way you want it to. But on the other hand, you know, I tend to look at the number of likes and maybe the comments as opposed to the number of dislikes. Dislikes make me sad and I, I think they probably make most people sad. You know, I think when you spend a lot of time making and filming a video and then it gets a dislike, it's tempting to take it to heart. Weirdly, I think I, I take dislikes on YouTube more to heart than like negative reviews or, you know, mediocre reviews on my books. And I don't know whether that's maybe because quite often I'm maybe sharing the the, the love I have for a book that, for, that I really like. And then if someone dislikes it, I'm kind of like, oh, you didn't even, you didn't even give the book a chance. You just disliked the video and moved on with your life. How dare you? It's an interesting one. So, I mean, I've had a few dislikes on videos here and there. I notice most people dislike my reviews. So I don't know whether that's just because people dislike reviews. I also noticed that most of them are from people who are unsubscribed. And I kind of wonder as well, like, with YouTube's recommendation system, how many of those dislikes are from people who don't even read, who have, like, they've just, you know, they've, they're watching videos and it's auto playing and then suddenly there's me talking about perks of being a wallflower and they dislike it for some reason because they're some sort of heathen I, I don't know then there but there are other people as well like bald book geek I noticed on his videos I think he has like one or two people that he must have annoyed at some point who just dislike every one of his videos and it's so unhelpful and I feel like quite bad when I see that that I'm like why have you disliked this video like I really liked it and I'm having a chat with him and stuff so I don't know. I don't find dislikes to be that helpful. So personally, for myself, I don't leave dislikes on BookTube. But I will qualify that by saying on BookTube. I quite often dislike BuzzFeed videos because they quite often make really stupid videos. And I think when you've got a channel with that many views, when you get in hundreds of thousands or millions of views, dislikes do actually serve a purpose. Especially the ratio of likes to dislikes, you know. So you can you can start to find out if you are making some kind of mistake but when you just get the odd random dislike here and there on a random video and you're getting 50 or 100 or 200 views or whatever it's not really that helpful like <laughs> i don't know i do think as well on booktube with a kind of community where if we even if we didn't like a video we just tend to skip and like <laughs> watch something else like maybe occasionally in extreme circumstances you might unsubscribe to somebody but, like, I don't know, it just seems to me that the dislike function on, on BookTube is, is almost irrelevant. I've actually downloaded a plugin just to hide dislikes because, like I say, I mean, it just does. It makes you feel a bit sad. I think it's probably quite a natural reaction to have. And so uh, I'm keen to hear what you think if one of your videos gets a dislike as well. And, like, it doesn't even matter the ratio almost. It's like if I get, I'd rather have, like, 10 likes and no dislike than like 30 likes and one dislike or something because I don't know negative reinforcement we, we as people and human beings don't tend to enjoy that I guess I don't know sometimes you see somebody like um, you know books and Lala or something like that I think I saw one of hers the other day where she had 999 likes or something and zero dislikes she was just under a thousand and I was like that's really like for me, as part of a com the community member, I find that really heartwarming to see. I think any video about books, you, it's it's worthy of a like by default, and and if you don't like it, you just don't hit the like button. That's that's how I see it. I think, um, you know, as, especially for a community like BookTube, we all need to kind of support each other and whatnot. And I don't think that the dislike button has much use there. Uh, the same for like negative comments and stuff. There's a big difference between a negative comment and you know debating with somebody. So in fact, I encourage you to leave a comment now. And if you disagree with me on any of these points, which are mainly just me rambling, but if you disagree with any of them, let me know and we'll have a nice little chat about it. And that's what makes BookTube great. 
And I think just hitting a dislike button, it almost... I don't know, it's just like... It's, it's, it's taking an unnecessary dump on something that somebody loves, you know. Like, we're not we're not doing it for the money or the fame or anything like that. We're doing it for the conversation, I would I would argue. But certainly in my case, I think what the bit that I enjoy the most is the conversations I have with people. But something like a dis, hitting dislikes and stuff, I, I don't know. It's, it's malicious. It's like driving through a puddle and splashing somebody just because you can and it'll entertain you for a split second and you're giving them a really shitty day like there is no need to do things that are negative I think I don't know just be neutral if you don't like a video like I say move on I do but you because I like to talk to people I like to make friends I like to document the process as well and as much again a, a dislike shouldn't shouldn't matter because I'm not doing it to make people happy <laughs> As much as, as as much as it is a good thing if you watch my video and smile at my weird sense of humor or whatever, that's not why I'm doing it. And and um, you know I'm just glad that people are coming along on the journey with me. But see that's it. You know you like. So I think that's it. Now I will be interested to see whether this video gets any dislikes because it will be kind of funny if it does. But such is life. I'm only half serious about what I've talked about in this. But another half of me is deadly serious, and if you dislike my videos, I will find you. I will find you, and I will end you. And what was all that about when I got two dislikes on my Miss Marple review? People. Oh, oh. How can you dislike a Miss Marple review? It's Miss Marple. Anyway, on that note, thanks a lot for watching. Let me know what you think in the comments. Feel free to discuss the question of dislikes on booktube as well in a discussion video on your own channel if you fancy it if you do just let me know so i can check it out and in the meantime thanks a lot for watching please don't hit that dislike button and i will see you soon for another bookish video thanks a lot bye bye